morning and welcome to my all decorate with me vlog. Now I won't officially be decorating until Sunday just because I could do it today but I feel like I would have to piecemeal it together in between working. I'd have to start this morning, pick back up on lunch break and then finish up after work and I don't want to do that. I want to be able to take the time to just be in the moment, do it, enjoy it fully while I'm doing it um, and I also want to bake some pumpkin bread um, at the same time. So I will be doing my full fall decorate with me on Sunday. And the weather's also going to be more fit for it. Today is going to be another day in the 80s. I think 87 or 88 for the high. So it's getting up there. Um, it is cool this morning. It's only about 64 degrees right now. Um, but Saturday and Sunday, it's only going to get into the 70s for a high, like mid 70s, 75 to 77. Um, so it's going to be perfect weather for decorating for fall as well. So I will be doing that on Sunday. Now tomorrow... Um, we have kind of like a family get together. It's a little bit of a family reunion in a way. It's just on one little side of my family. It's my grandpa's side. Um, so I'm going to be at the farm tomorrow for that. And I want to gather some corn stalks. There should be plenty along the edges of the field where the deer or whatever has eaten the corn. So there's not an ear on the stalk. Um, so I can take those and bring them home to decorate with. I kind of want to forage for some things to put in my decorations too. Um, maybe some limbs off of like some young oak trees because those, as they turn brown, they don't lose a lot of their leaves um, really until spring whenever they start budding out again is when they shed the rest of their leaves. Um, so they would be perfect for decorating with. Um, there's going to be acorns, hickory nuts, walnuts, all that kind of stuff is starting to fall in the woods. So I'm just going to forage and see what I can find. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. Um, and then on Sunday, we will be doing the full decorating. And um, so tonight I'm going to do a movie night. I bought a two pack of movies on Amazon. And one is um, When Harry Met Sally. And the other one is You've Got Mail, which I know both or at least You've Got Mail is definitely trending on social media right now. Um, it's a movie that I want to say back in April when it was on Netflix, Michael and I watched and I was like, man, that would be a really good fall movie. And apparently I wasn't the only one to get that memo because now it is definitely very popular um, for fall. And there's been like a whole trend about Meg Ryan fall and all of that stuff. But anyway, so those movies I'm going to watch When Harry Met Sally tonight and then Sunday night after I finish decorating, I'm going to do a You've Got Mail um, movie night to wrap up the vlog with. So anyhow, um, that is about all I have to explain about what's going on this weekend. So without further ado, I'm going to get to my day and I will catch up with you again shortly.
all right, so I still have about an hour and a half before we need to leave for the farm. So I thought I'd go ahead and get out my fall decorations and just get everything out and see what I have because, you know, you put it away and almost a year later when you get it out again, you've forgotten everything you have, which um, is a big part of the reason why, um, you know, I'm on kind of a spending freeze this year for home decor, but even going forward, I'm not going to go to the store and buy new stuff all the time because it makes more sense to me to get everything out and decorate and see, is there anything that needs replaced? Is there anything I'd like to have that I currently don't, um, et cetera, before I decide to go and buy things at the store? Um, my goal for this past year, which I feel like I have successfully completed, even though the year is not over yet, is to kind of break that inborn drive that we don't even realize we have um, to lean towards consumerism, to the need to constantly buy, constantly have new stuff, spend money when we're in the stores just because stuff is out and we see it and we like it. So we don't really think about it. We just unconsciously buy based on um, kind of really emotion more than anything. I like it. I got to have that, right? Um, so I've been trying to break that this past year. And I feel like I have successfully done that because now when I go to the store and I see something and I think I like that, I immediately think, do I need it? Um, what is it made out of? You know, what is the material? Am I basically just bringing more plastic into my house, for example? Um, some things like that. So I am being more conscious now in the things that I buy. Um, and mostly I just want to make sure that I am making use of the things that I have already spent my money on because, you know, this stuff really shouldn't be disposable. I shouldn't be buying it to use for one season and then discard it to buy new. That just doesn't make sense. Um, and so that has been my goal for the last year. And I've done really well with it. And I really like the change in mindset that I have picked up from doing it. But anyhow, I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you what I already have that I will be reusing because it is still um, my no buy year, so to speak. Um, and so even if there is something that I think, oh, I would really like to have this to add to my decor, I'm not allowed to do it this year. So let's see what I have. So this is my fall and winter containers. There's going to be a lot of winter stuff in here that I won't be using yet, but there's also a lot of stuff that I will be pulling out for fall. My autumnal flowers. I'm knocking some of the flowers off of my wreath. So this is something that I would like to redo, which it won't be this year because as I said, I'm not allowed to buy new stuff, but um, I kind of want to update this wreath a little bit <clears throat> because the colors of the flowers are a little brighter and lighter. And then my decor is more of like a rusty brownie color. Um, so I'd like to get some deeper, richer flowers to put in it and get rid of these bright orange. Um, but it won't be this year because I'm not allowed to buy this stuff. Ribbons. Take out the green ones. I don't think I'll need the ivory. Okay, it looks like everything else in this bin is winter. So I'm going to put all of this stuff back in there and set it aside. And then I'm going to get out my one that is strictly fall decor. Okay, so this is stuff that is obviously strictly for fall. Um, you know, autumnal leaves that will be put away in December. And my fall kitchen towels, pumpkins. These, honestly, oops, got my random little flowery pieces. But these I have had since... Oh gosh, 2005, 2006, when I very first had my first house when my oldest child, who is now 19 years old, was a baby. These have been around for that long. So definitely something to be said for having a kind of specific aesthetic that you like. Um, and I, f I feel like these more muted, kind of deeper, richer colors rather than the bright ones is a lot of the reason why I have had this for so long, um, because those colors I just always tend to gravitate towards. So this thing is, you know, 20, almost 20 years old, and I'm still using it. And here is another one. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I have so many little floral pieces um, because some of this stuff I like to just kind of tuck into my decorations on tabletops and stuff. Um, my other fall kitchen towel. And then a little swag piece, which I did have this on my TV stand. And now I have hydrangeas up there, so I'll find another place for it. 
And then this is the candle that I refilled um, last year, which I've also had for probably every bit of 15 years. I really like this candle holder. So whenever the candle burned down, I just refilled it. And it looks like it can stand to be refilled again, honestly. And then lots of just little like floral pieces like this, um, little pumpkins. This is a pumpkin that my grandma got me and she had one that was a matching one. So we both had one. So even though it doesn't quite match the other colors, it's something that I keep for sentimental reasons. And more pumpkins, more candles, more little florally bits, which I'm not gonna drag out all of these floral pieces just because I don't want them scattered everywhere. So I'll kind of pick them out as I go tomorrow. Oops, here's a candle that got dumped. So I have two of these, which I've also had for many, many, many years, probably 15 to 20 years. I would say I got them around the same time as this, if not the same year, just within a couple of years after. So there are definitely pieces that I've had in here for a very long time. And then there are definitely pieces that I haven't, like these towels I think I just bought last year. Um, this pillow cover I think I've used for two years. This will be my third. This throw blanket I probably had for six or seven years. Um, the original or the very first um, like pillow cover and throw blanket that I got out from the other bin, I just bought these last year. So, and then the floral bit, some of it I've bought new, some of it I inherited from grandma because she always had a ton of this stuff and she never reused it, I feel like. Um, and so she had a ton of stuff like this that I kind of picked up from her. Uh, this was hers, actually, the perfect example. And I like to just um, throw in, I've got a ton of acorns outside because of, you know, the giant oak trees in the yard or the neighbor's yard, really. Um, but I'll collect those and fill that up with acorns. So, oh, here's my other candle. So that is that. So this is everything that I have that I'm going to decorate with. This will decorate um, my living room a little bit in my kitchen, a little bit in my bedroom, and a little bit in my dining room. Now I do have seasonal table setting stuff, so like napkins, um, napkin rings, plates, stuff like that, and I keep that in the bottom of my bookshelf in the little cabinet door, so that is all of the stuff that I swap out with my table decor. But everything else is right here. And then I do also have a couple of throw blankets in drawers in the basement where I store them um, because those are throw blankets that I keep out through all of fall and winter and then put away whenever spring comes. So I still need to get those couple of throw blankets out too, which actually I do have one out already. So I just need to get the other one. Um, but that's it. So I'm going to kind of set all this stuff aside. And tomorrow I'm going to um, bake up some pumpkin bread and then start decorating with all of the stuff.
All right, so the work is done, the bread is finished, um, it is in there cooling, and I have started editing this video, um, but I thought I would pause for a little bit just to do a quick check-in um, and go over my whole no-buy year with the decorations. So I'm sticking to that. Um, I've only got a few months left and I decided that what I have now, I can certainly live with until next year, but there are a few things that I have made note of that I want to get next year. Um, and that is a few more of these little floral picks because there were a couple of spots where I thought, man, I really wish I had another pick to tuck in here. Um, so I would like to get some more of those. And then the big thing is gonna be garland for my stair railing and then the window in my kitchen. And so I used to have fall garland for those places. And that's actually where all of these little leaves that I have came from. Um, so the, the garland was just getting kind of tattered and sparse and it had lost enough leaves and it wasn't looking good anymore. So when I took it down last year, I believe it was last year, um, I stripped all of the leaves off of it and then I pitched the garland. Um, but since I am in a no buy year for this year, um, I did not get any more. <laughs> Roz, you have got to be right in the shot. Watch out, buddy. <laughs> all right. So anyhow, that is something that is on my list for next year is to get some garland for the stairs and the window in the kitchen and a few more of these picks. But everything else I think I'm satisfied with. So um, my bedroom is kind of the last thing I have to do, but I stripped all of the bedding. I washed my quilts and pillows and throw blankets and all of that good stuff. So um, I should have the last batch is in the dryer now. So I'm about ready to actually make the bed and then I'll do my bedroom. I don't know if I'll include that in this vlog just because it's already getting kind of long and there's really not a lot to put in there. I have like a pillow cover that I put on my little toss pillow. And then um, I tuck in a few little leaves and stuff and like a candle. So it's not a lot of stuff. My bedroom does not really get decked out for fall. Um, so just a few little touches. So probably won't include that in this vlog, but you'll certainly see it soon. Um, and then the corn that I picked at the farm yesterday, I'm also not going to get to in this vlog because I still have plenty of work ahead of me to finish editing this vlog and get it up and posted and scheduled um, before the end of the day. And Michael is also coming over this evening and we are going to watch You've Got Mail. And at that point, I'm going to light all of my candles and turn on all of my fairy lights and see how this looks um, with all of the soft glow in the just kind of cozy evenings now that we have shorter days. So I will definitely share that and let you see what everything looks like in the evening, all lit up and nice and cozy and warm. So anyhow, I'm going to get back to editing now and I will catch up with you guys this evening. And um, I just want to say thank you for watching and I hope to see you back here in the next vlog. Thank you.